Every day in the USA, people find themselves in court. What's your name, sir? Christopher Bruce Seven. Christopher Bruce Oh, Cruz. Mr. Cruz, how old are you? 18. You need to speak up. 18. All right. And so you know uh, uh, Nadia Dixon? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you bring her up, please? That's <laughs> not all right, guys, you guys reside together. Yes, Sounds like you guys were having some problems on this day. So, um, Ms. Dixon, you are charged with terroristic threats, simple assault and criminal trespass. Mr. Cruz, you are charged with battery, family violence, criminal damage, and criminal trespass. Y'all had a lot going on. So generally, somebody has to come out of the house. Who's going to come out of the house? And how, how old are you again, Mr. Cruz? 19. 19? 18. 18? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, are you employed? Uh, no, ma'am, I'm not. Why not? I've been looking for a job, but I currently don't have one right now. And so how do you live? Um, I'm living like, I'm living with somebody who's helping out. Is that Miss Dixon? No, ma'am. So y'all live with someone else? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So y'all cutting up in somebody else's house? No. Okay. So who's going to come out the house? Who, who's, whose house is it? Whose parents' house is it? No one's parents. Neither of our parents' house. Who do y'all live with? A friend. Hello? Just, just a friend. Mars. All right, so who's gonna leave? We both left. You are both of you already left? Yes. All right, so for this location. Ms. Dixon, what is so funny? Nothing. Is it fun being back there? No. This is not how you guys want to start your life. Keep accumulating a criminal history. All right, so Ms. Dixon, on the terroristic threats, I dismissed that one. That was a felony. I dismissed it. Um, for the simple assault, I've set your bond at 2000 Criminal trespass, $1,000. So your total bond is $3,000, okay? You cannot have any contact with Mr. Cruz. If you're caught together, you're going to come right back to jail. You have to try, You have to um, get your bond modified. You guys cannot be together. Um, you may not return to that 874 King Road in Riverdale address. Your preliminary hearing has been set for September the 17th. <clears throat> Mine? I'm sorry. Mine? Yeah. But if you bond out, you don't have to worry about that. Are you able to bond out? Yes. You say yes? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. So. I have a question. Go ahead. So even though we're married, we can't even like see each other again? Yep. Yeah. So what about have to stay away from each other because when you're together... Well, what about like my last name being changed back? Like, what do y'all? That's not before that? me. The criminal charge is before me. Nothing else is before me today. Um, and so if you guys are wanting to get a divorce, you need to go ahead and consult with an attorney on that. But well, we're not. Oh, okay. Well, I I appointed you an attorney. So what needs to happen is, um, uh, and maybe the two attorneys can get together, and um modify this bond order so that you guys can have contact with each other. Um, you know what? I'm not going to do that. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to put you guys down since you both are here um, to no violent or harassing contact. Miss Dixon, I just don't understand what's funny. I'm not laughing. I'm sorry? I'm not laughing now. Same for you, Miss Dixon. No violent or harassing contact. I am flagging you too. So if you come back into custody, we're going to be having a different conversation. So, um, Miss Dixon, your bond is three thousand. No violent or harassing contact with Mr. Cruz. Mr. Cruz, um, you're charged with battery, family violence. That bond is set at one thousand. The criminal damage in the second degree, um, which was a felony, has been dismissed. And the criminal trespass is a thousand, so your total bond is two thousand dollars. You may not have any um, violent or harassing contact with Miss Dixon. All right. Good luck to you both. Thank you. Is that your name? Alexander Jitsi. All right, Mr. Genty, you are charged with criminal trespass. Mm -hmm. I've set that bond at $1,500. You may not have any contact with Nina Genty, and you may not return to the 1594 Flat Shells Road in Atlanta, and you must not violate any laws while you're out on bond. Do you understand the charges and the special conditions of your bond? No, ma'am. I, I, um, uh, the case stuff I understand as far as the thing, I'm a, um, 100% uh, disabled bed. And all of my medication and medical devices are in the house. If I'm not allowed to return to the house and, and have to stay in the streets, uh, that's pretty much a death sentence for me. Um, I, I, so you can go with the sheriff's escort to retrieve your it, medication and any of your personal belongings. It's, 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 yes, ma'am. It's so much stuff and there's so many medical devices. I mean, if I could just get a no violent contact, um, whatever, just so I could be able to stay in the house and use my medications. And, and that's all I really, I, I just want to be able to go home and be able to use, get my medications. Because I take so many of them and so many different insulin shots that, and some of them have to be refrigerated and stuff. And I don't even understand why I'm here. So you do understand that it is illegal to lock somebody out of their house. Yes, I didn't lock. I didn't lock her out the house. She had when the officer asked to um, asked her to uh, dump her purse, her purse, the keys fell out. She had the keys, but he said somebody still had to go. She had the keys the whole time. Literally, when he said dump the purse on the floor, the house keys fell out on the floor. She's doing this with retaliatory. Because early this week, I filed an eviction notice and she found it on my computer. Yeah. So, so she got me. This she is not me. your first encounter with the law. No, ma'am. I just left here. I just left here Monday morning. But the same thing that she did, she went to the clubs and then she came back with a girlfriend and said, I locked out the house, but I'm in the house asleep. This time she went to work. She, she this sounds out so familiar. It's, yes, ma'am. Is that meant you did me last time, ma'am? You dismissed the charges because it was it, it just didn't make sense. And this time, because she found them when I got out, I did no contact, no nothing, no conversation, no nothing. Hey, wait, wait. So I you I, I dismissed your charge and you're back here again. Yes, yes, ma'am. She she set me up. She seen where I went in the system. But you allowed her to set you up. Well, I, I probably uh, if that's what it was, I'm not sure, but but there was um um you uh, apparently. Y'all can't be in the same house. So um, you can go ahead and go through your eviction process, but I can't let you back in that house. I am going to appoint an attorney to you because you do um, qualify. Your preliminary hearing is 917. Your bond is 1500. Don't go back to that location, sir. Good luck to you. Okay. What's your name? Carl. That was Carl? Yes, ma'am. All right, you're charged with possession of a dangerous drug. That bond is set at 2000 
and you must not violate any laws while you're out on bond. Your preliminary no. hearing is September the 16th at 8, I mean, September the 17th at 8.30 a.m. But if you bond out, you don't have to worry about that. Are you employed, sir? Yes, ma'am. How much do you earn per month? Um, it varies about how many cars I pull in a month for tow car. I, I, my apologies, I can't hear you. It varies uh, from month to month. It just depends on how many cars you bring in. How many what you're making? Uh, how many cars we tow in. Oh, cars you're towing. Yes. Mm -hmm. But that could be up to $4,000 a month. Um, yes. Well, look at the window. Slide over. Slide over. Do you desire that I appoint you an attorney? I can see you over there. Oh, um, yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and appoint you an attorney. Um, Matt, um, go ahead. About it. So I take care of a lady at the house. She's a, she has cerebral palsy. She lives with us there. Those are her pills in the car. They're her, they're her psych meds. So she rides in that vehicle every day. Let me look at the warrant. Was she in the car? She was not at, uh, at the time. She was in the car the day before. But like she, she rides in the car every day. I take her to her appointments, to her, to her to the doctors, to grocery shopping. She's like, she can't do anything by herself. I mean, I changed the ladies' pampers. Like, like I said, so why, why are they she she had him she had him in the back seat. She was trying to take some. She spilled some. I never got a chance to clean it up. I was busy, so like there was pills on the floor back there where she was sitting. But like those are her mental health meds. Well, then her name should have been on the pill bottle. Yeah, it's Rachel Vaughn. Those are I'm her. sorry, Rachel Vaughn. I'm saying I said her name should have been on the pill bottles. Why That's weren't they on the pill bottles? Yeah, they should have been. I don't. I don't know what they took out of the car. They didn't show me anything. So, why is it if they're her pills? Why is it her name on the pill bottle? Ma'am, I'm not sure. The the pills that are in there is only can be hers. Like, okay, I don't. All right. So, and the vehicle you bought me is two thousand. The vehicle is a company vehicle, and there's several people besides me that use that vehicle. Well, I am appointing you an attorney, sir. Good luck to you. What's your name? James Kennedy. Oh, James Kennedy. Yes, correct. James Kennedy. Mm -hmm. All right. Mr. Kennedy, you are charged with aggravated stalking. That bond is denied. Family violence order violation 1000 for a total. Well, your bond is denied. You must stay away again from Taylor Kennedy. All right. We, you got you had that instruction before. Judge, I, I've never I haven't been around her and I haven't called her. I was receiving private phone calls from this lady. I even have it recorded where I'm saying I don't know who this is. Please stop calling me. Um, if this is you, Taylor, I can't speak to you. I have my my records of recording and everything, so I don't understand why I'm here. I haven't been to the house, and I definitely haven't spoken to her. I've never called her or anything. And then I heard the police search that my car. You repeatedly I, called the victim. Those were calls that were made to me from her phone. Privately. That was those were calls that were made to me from her call privately. It was a, a no no ID calls on, and I have I have them on my phone. Listen, I'm going to read what the officer said occurred. The offender did commit the offense of aggravated stalking when he violated the terms of the bond order and bond conditions by repeatedly calling the victim the victim's phone forty times from a restricted number within an hour in an attempt to harass the victim. The victim. Did block the offender's number. We both blocked each other, um, Your Honor. See, the thing is, when you do no ID, it doesn't tell you if it's an incoming or outgoing call. That's the only thing with that. So I have all these calls on my log and recorded of this girl calling me. Yet I'm the one that's in here and she's the one provoking me. It doesn't matter. She doesn't have the order against her. It's against you. And that's the thing. I'm not calling her. She's calling me. That's Wait a minute. I'm, I'm not finished. Officers did contact make contact with the offender via cell phone when the offender called the victim. So basically the officer was there 
And I don't know, maybe he answered the phone. He said, officer did make contact with the victim. I mean, excuse me, with the offender via cell phone when the offender called the victim. That, I, I, I don't know who that is. That's what that's what I'm saying. I have video recordings of her calling me and me not don't answering. Don't care about her calling you. That doesn't matter. I don't okay. have an order against for her to follow. We only have an order for you to follow. Okay. Uh, how is that possible when we were both brought in on the same case? I don't I don't I don't have her case before me. Yeah, we were brought in at the same time on the same that case. That doesn't matter. What we're here for is your violation. Well, that, that's the or thing. Alleged, or alleged violation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Your Honor. I've, I've, I've been at my buddy's house. I have witnesses. I have recordings. I haven't even, con even contacted this girl, even went back to the house or anything. So, and I blocked her as soon as I got out of jail. I, I have all these, I have a big call log, and I also have videos of this girl calling me. So I have like a five minute video of this girl calling me. It doesn't me. matter. How, how many times do I have to say that? It doesn't matter. It is you that has the bond condition attached. And, and I definitely understand that. That's why I wasn't wasn't speaking to her and I didn't go back to the home. Yet I get a call at eight, eight, or, eight or nine, 10 o'clock in the morning saying I have a warrant for my arrest and I haven't even spoken with her nor been back to my house. When I, when I, when we came, I had just arrived from Vegas off the airplane. I, I, I technically don't even live in, in Georgia. I live in, in Las Vegas. I just come back and forth because that's my wife and she has my children. All right. So the bond is $2,000. I'm going I'm to let you work that out in court. The bond is $2,000. Again, stay away from Taylor Kennedy, or you're gonna yeah. end up back here again. I was um, at the air. I was at the airport when they got me, ma'am. I was trying to go home, ma'am. I mean, sir, <laughs> your bond is is um denied. Actually, hold on. What I'm I know what I'm gonna do. All right. Since there was actually no contact. I'm going to deny the aggravated stocking. And then I'm going to give you a bond of 2000. I'm going to give you a bond of 3000 on the family violence bond order. Um, Thank you. I just, I just want to get out of this mess, ma'am. So I can go back, go back to this. Now, is it any way I can get it where she, she where she can stop contacting me? So I because I I don't want to talk sure, to her. Not her number. I did. That's what I did. That's what I did. But she keeps calling me no ID. And, well, and I've already made reports. Is, her behavior doesn't matter. It's yours. So it, so if you talk to her because she's calling you, then you're going to end up back here again. It's up to you. Is there any way I can, is, am I able still to put a restraining order or anything? Or how does that work? Like You, to, you need to consult with an attorney. All right. Thank you, ma'am. And do you desire that I appoint you an attorney? Yes, ma'am. All right. I've done that. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. What's your name, sir? Jeffrey White. All right, Mr. White, you are charged with driving on suspended license. That bond is set at 1,000, improper lane change, 500 for a total bond of $1,500. And you must not violate any laws while you're out on bond. Do you understand the charges against you? Yes, but just, but could I say something? Go ahead. Okay. That charge, uh, it was taken care of right here in Clayton County Courthouse. Uh, the judge had took all them charges and ran them in together to one charge, and I paid the fine out. So that's why I was able to get my license back. It was it right here. Uh, I think it was like in August, not August. I think it was in May when the judge here did it. So that's just a charge that they had never took out the computer. Even the bond company said they had not took that out, showing that. I had a uh, suspended license, but all my license cleared up right in this courthouse in May. 
So I see here that they did dismiss driving without a valid license, but that's in 2021. It was um, dismissed. He said she had dismissed everything else, so I was able to go back and get my license. It showed where I went back. They gave me permission to go back to get my license this year. And I ain't I hadn't have a charge said then, but the case they got me charged for now is 2020. 2020. She cleared that charge. Yeah, I don't see how you can have a suspended license when that charge um, was dismissed. It does appear to be. It's still in the computer. It show up sometime when police are pulling over and sometimes it don't. Like I told the officer, I was just went through a roadblock. Taken care of, or you're gonna be spending many more nights back here unnecessarily. You you do have a significant criminal history, but it appears it's been a while. You you did that back in your heyday. I was a baby. All right, so um, I'll dismiss the driving on suspended license. It does appear to be an error, uh, but I'm I'm not going to dismiss the improper lane change. But I will give you, I will release you on that one. Hey, man, how would I get them to take that out of the computer so I won't get started? You probably, I'm not sure, you just probably need to contact um, um, whatever agency, I don't know if it was state court or superior court that did it, probably need to contact them or consult with an attorney. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. White, so you'll be released today, but make sure that there's an open and a valid, um, excuse me, there's a valid address on file, okay? Yes, ma'am.